You know, Casey I've known for 43 years and, you know, he's he's evolved into one of the best actors on the planet and he's an amazing writer and he's a very, very, just an extremely talented guy and I read the script that he wrote with Chuck and I thought it was so good and we got in touch with Doug and it was a chance to reunite with him and I think one of the best parts about working with people you know that well is that the love and trust and respect is just a given and it allows you to problem solve a lot quicker. You don't have to waste any time on diplomacy. If you don't like somebody's idea, you just come out and say it and it's kind of you get to an answer a lot quicker. And like we've developed a whole vocabulary in this business about how to tread around people's egos and if you just abandon your ego at the door and just go and you know that all of that stuff is is kind of beyond reproach. It, it's not on the table. It's just about the problem in front of us and you just attack it together. You get to a solution a lot quicker and and that's why it's really fun. We're, we're pretty blunt with each other, creatively speaking, um, but we, we know that there's a deep love and abiding respect that underlies all of that. It was a lot of writing and rewriting and pre-production and a lot of discussion around the dynamic between the two characters and what the best way was to kind of approach that and so that was really the preparation was a little more analytical on this one I mean in terms of the nuts and bolts of it it's a guy from Boston you know that's where I grew up he's somebody I know very well uh, he's a blue-collar guy in a very desperate situation and so a lot of that was is kind of baked into my life experience and so uh, but in terms of you know most of the prep time was spent just lining everything up from a producerial standpoint and making sure we had the exact right story we wanted to tell when we shot it. Well, Doug always, like even on The Born Identity, uh, he always leads with the character and the plot follows the character and that's the same with the action. So rather than the movie stopping to just show pretty explosions or car crashes or something like that, it's always about how are the characters developing inside the action. And so he's more concerned with the conversation inside the car than the car crashes that are happening all around it. Those are, you know, those, those are just a piece of what you're, uh, you know, of what you're seeing. What, you, what you're really focusing on is the character development inside the car. And he does that in all of his movies. It's just a philosophical approach to action, and it's why the action in his movies always works. We have the greatest stunt guys in the world and the best second unit director in the world and an amazing team. And so, no, I, I, I pump those guys up. <laughs> let, let them go. Like, like, they really are amazing. They make everything better and they make our work better. And, and it's really a combination of first and second unit that make these things work. I just think the chance to go to work every day and look over and see Casey and somebody that I love so much and, and, and respect so much. And, you know, this is something that was his and he you know he and Chuck wrote this thing and and I, I know he's gonna if it's successful he'll wear the success and he'll deserve it all so the only person I had worked with on this movie before was Matt um, but you know he's one of the best actors working he's uh, known him for 40 years I love him to death uh, it was nothing but um, but a pleasure I gotta tell you standing on that set every day you know, I've been in this for acting for 38 years, and uh, but when I was there in Boston, um, working with Doug Lyman, with Matt, doing what I love to do in the city that I love. It's a little different when you uh, write it because it's just in your head, you know, so you don't have to sort of bring yourself to the preparation the same way. Um, you know, I feel like I knew this character and I, all I had to do really was make sure that Matt was going to be any good. You know? you know, having done The Born Identity, The Edge of Tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Go, uh, it's just so many movies where he's had to juggle um, action and comedy and character. I think it's, for him, it's really just about trying to find new ways to do it, to improve on it. But he's never, I don't think, worried that uh, he doesn't know how to do it. Uh, he made it look like effortless almost, um, and it's, it's hard to do. So he's one of the best, and we were lucky to have him. You know, a lot of the action was done, I have to say, by stuntmen. Um, and then we, you know, they crash the cars up and drive around the city and drive them off roofs and stuff. And then we get into a car that's stationary, 
and it's surrounded by a green screen, and Doug makes it all look like it's, you know, uh, it's seamless and happening for real. So we did a lot of sitting in cars and just being like thrown, going left, right, <laughs> look left, look right, and then it works. I worked with Matt on downsizing back in 2016 or 17, so it's been a few years, but not as long as it took for Matt and Doug to be reunited, which was 20 years in between uh, the Born Identity and, and now the Instigators, so I feel really lucky and fortunate. It's really hard to ask people if I can sit in on their therapy sessions. Uh, and I've never been to therapy myself, so I had to use my imagination a little bit and also just tried to play the themes truthfully for what they were. I remember the first conversation I had with Doug. He said that he wanted the movie to be character driven and not action driven, and so he, he stayed true to that. I've never felt uh, burdened by any of the action sequences in terms of that it would affect anything that we were doing character-wise. He really wanted us to just focus on what our characters would do and what the dynamic and the relationships were. I think I'm more laid back than him, so it was a nice reach. You know, the first movie I did, I felt like I was kind of playing me. This is like the first time I played a character for real, so. It's kind of an awe, taking notes and absorbing, trying to stay humble and see what I can learn. It's hard to do, so there's a reason they're who they are, you know? It's magical to, to go back to work with Matt. You know, it was a little scary, you know, right at the beginning, because well, last time we worked together, Born Identity launched a you know, billion dollar franchise, so you're like, and a great friendship, a lifelong friendship. There's a lot on the line. We could mess up the friendship, we could mess up, you know, you know, maybe it's sort of terrifying. So it was so amazing. Right from day one of working together, it was like we were back 20 years ago making Born Identity. Like like no time had passed. And uh, and the thing is, you know, we Matt and I really made Born Identity like an independent movie. It was a studio, but at the end of the day, we're in France. It was like an eight-hour time difference to L.A. So like. We just were like on our own making the movie and making decisions for ourselves and, and here we are all these years later basically doing the same thing with instigators because now Matt is the studio. There's no time difference really anymore to work with but so it really was, a, it was so fantastic and then getting to meet Casey, you know, was like what a, what a, dis, what a discovery for me as, as a director. I mean I'm just, I'm in love with all of the choices he makes as an actor and, and how much he gives to the to, to the directors he works with, or at least that he gave to me. You know, it's terrifying, you know, having, you know, basically redefined car chases with Born Identity. Matt and I are now doing another car chase. You know, how do we live up to what we did before? But what I love about the Instigator script is that we had this really unbelievable dynamic in the car during the chase, because Matt's got suicidal tendencies, Casey Affleck's discovering that, their therapist Hong Chow is in the car trying to coax Matt into slowing down, Casey doesn't want her to slow him down, so what, what was available to me in Instigators that say I didn't have on Born Identity was a chance to do an incredibly exciting car chase and then do the interior, what's happening inside the car actually be more exciting than what was happening outside the car. Occupied. Okay. Uh, it, it happens during the uh, at one of the more tense moments in the movie when, when there was something Matt improvised and you know people Matt's playing the straight guy in Instigators to Casey Affleck's sort of more flashy character, but the reality is that Matt Damon's a phenomenal comedian. He's really funny and so that moment, for instance, is something he improvised, but. Uh, I really think instigators, you know, it was like Matt and I wanted to make a comedy together because he's really funny. One of my favorite memories was there was a moment where Matt said something to me, you know, in between takes and it's a technical thing, but I looked at him and I said, oh my God, and there he is, Matt, right over there. He He's grown so much since we worked together 20 years ago because you don't really know, maybe we're, we stay the same. I was like, he has really matured as a human being, as an actor, as somebody who can support the directors he works with. 
and I was just looking at Matt, I was like, wow, he, he's just grown so much in those 20 years. And then I was thinking to myself, well, maybe he's thinking that about me. Because you don't really know, you're in your own body, you don't know if you've grown. And so I sort of hung on to that for the rest of instigators as like thinking maybe that I have matured in those 20 years. So I've actually had a partnership with Doug for 10 years, um, so we work together on a lot of movies and we've had a lot of fun together and I can honestly say the instigators surpassed everything for me that we've done together because the combination of this team, like Matt and Casey, Kevin Walsh, the other producers, everybody that we did this together with just made it so much fun, so easy. I mean, you know, there's always difficulties, everything always has challenges, but doing it with a group of people that you're having that much fun with and doing it with people like Apple and Artist Equity supporting you, it's, it's, it was a lot of fun. You start with Matt Damon and Casey Affleck and you're like, yeah, we're good. Like, that's, that's a great movie. And then you add Hong Chao into that, who plays such an amazing, like, straight person to their kind of crazy characters and just brought this really like special extra thing and then on top of that you add Michael Stuhlbarg and Brad Molina and you add Toby Jones and you add Ron Perlman and you add Paul Walter Hauser and you add Jack Harlow and you just end up with this like insane cast of people like insane cast of people every single one of them brought something to their characters that was different than everyone else you know we had like I've said it before but Toby Jones's character didn't really exist in the script to start with and we wrote this little part and then he came and brought so much to it that we kind of had to keep increasing it the problem we had was we had to keep increasing all of these parts and then you end up trying to figure out how to make a movie when there's so much like such a wealth of riches from everybody um, but I really love where we ended up with it it's an incredible it's an incredible movie it's really good fun Doug Lyman is just a true original. You know, that's all I can say about him. He's never repeated himself. He's always pushing the boundaries and trying to make these movies fresh. And like, you know, just, just doing new stuff. The, the, the action sequence in this movie is like a, a character in the movie because he spent so much time plotting it and prepping it. And, and the thing about working with Doug is that actors run to you, you know, when you're making a Doug Lyman movie. They all want to work with him. So you'll see our supporting cast, I mean, beyond Matt and Casey and Hong. We have Alvin Molina and Hong, you know, uh, um, Jack, Jack Harlow and, you know, Paul Walter Hauser. And we have these great actors, you know, uh, Michael Stuhlbarg that all came out of the woodwork to work with Doug because he's so damn good and so original. This is my third film with Matt, my third with Casey, and my third with Ben. Um, Casey and I and Matt uh, did Manchester by the Sea together. I did a film called Our Friend with Casey, and then Matt and I and Ben did The Last Duel. I actually worked on a film Ben did years ago called Changing Lanes as an assistant. So. They're all just super talented, you know, focused, professional guys. And, you know, with Matt and Casey, they're different actors, but they're both exceptional actors. And the thing about them is they, they have a shorthand together and they can finish each other's sentences in a way. And they, they have a really great comedic kind of balance with each other. And, and that, that drove the movie. That, that, that chemistry and that relationship really drove the film. You can't manufacture that. And I think it, it has to come from a real relationship and with Casey writing it and Matt kind of helping with some of the writing and going through it, they knew this, these characters inside and out. So you, you find yourself at the end of the film wanting more. You want to spend more time with these guys.